Hi guys, it is Ray. We are starting a new cup today. This is going to be one that I use my PET tapes from the washi tape shop on. So I have some epoxy mixed up. This is a 30 ounce fatty. Um, from Stainless Depot. It's just spray painted white because I want a glittery base but not um, an epoxy method or anything glitter base. I'm going to mix a little bit of the It's Pretty Personal Cheat in Touch of Neon and a little bit of the Diamond Dust in Touch of Neon into my epoxy. I think the colors this flashes will work well with what I'm doing and it doesn't have to be like a real in-your-face glitter so that's why I'm doing it this method so I just coated the top of my cup with the glitter part I'm gonna add like a decent amount but not a ton of the diamond dust which should give me in one coat coverage a sparkly cup that's ready to use so we're just gonna go ahead and get this applied Okay, I have so much going on right now. I hope I am going to put the right stuff with the right stuff, but I, I believe that this was intended to go on here with these, I think. Um, I am just very scattered and all over the place. So we're going to go ahead and get this done and then get our final coat of epoxy on. I'm just going to trim this down. Spread to kindness like wildflowers is what this says. Pick a pretty spot. So pretty, just classic, clean, I love it. And I'm gonna mix and match these two um, washi tape shop tapes. And I'm kind of not gonna really worry too much about which ones I use, because I wanna go all the way around, so. I'm going to start with a big one. And I can't remember what I said in the first video, if I said anything. This is a VC decal from Butterfly Lane Designs. This could have gone over a colored base, but I wanted white for this tumbler, so white it was. And I don't feel like there's really all that much of a right side up or upside down to this one, but I want it to go this direction. So that is what we're going to do. And then we will do some layering. Again, I am using painter's tape to lift mine. Um, I haven't had too much trouble with lifting any of the ink. I think I had one little spot on one little thing. And that seems to be working best for me because I do not have the patience to try and kiss cut these on the backing. Nope. Not it. So I'm going to do one of the butterfly ones since there's 
butterflies in the decal. We're going to carry that. And actually, I think I'm going to put another big one on the back first. Oh, that one. I want that one. I want that one. And now I can come back in and grab my butterfly one and layer it over those ones. And that'll be cute. I'm going to trim some of this excess clear off first. I wanted to layer these ones with the bright ones because the main decal is a little bit brighter than this set. So I figured it would all work together if I did it that way. I think I want this one. We are definitely going to put something on the bottom. I have to decide what. I think I think that one Look at that. I could literally sit here and just build and layer these and basically cover an entire tumbler and be like thrilled. I think I'm going to put something here and something here though. And I think we're going to go with the brights for that. So let's see. Find two of the smaller sections. this direction all right so I think I'll just use this one since it's loose but I think I'm gonna fill in with a little bit more of the bold stuff first basically created just a giant floral wave across the back of the tumbler. But see how nicely they layer? I mean, the edge all but disappeared. And because they're printed over that white, like the VC decals, 
they just kind of, it just works. And I know the colors on this one are lighter, but they still all kind of work once they're spread throughout the tumbler. So we're going to connect that wave. And that is going to be it for this one. Look at this. Isn't she pretty? Okay, I am ready for epoxy. I am not going to put any additive in this. I think it is fine the way it is. So it's just going to get a regular coat of epoxy. No need to seal these PET tapes because they are printed on plastic and the way they are printed, you don't have to seal them. Same with the decals. And this cup is the epitome of what I envisioned when I saw these tapes. Like, this is it right here. This is what I wanted to do. I actually love this cup so much that the day you're seeing this is the day after it's completed and I'm going to bump the cup that was already scheduled for that day that I absolutely adored to be able to put this one up. So, yeah. I love it that much. a stink bug in my room. <laughs> Hopefully I don't come back to it being in one of my cups. But I'm going to pick this up so you can see it. Spread kindness like wildflowers. And my wave of florals I created. This with the gold around the butterfly one especially just as a little added pop. Oh my god. I'm so in love with this cup. So, I'm going to be having a sale next week sometime, as soon as I can get organized. So, if you've seen a tumbler lately you want, there is a very good chance it will show up in that sale. Um, so, I have way too much inventory and I don't feel like trying to get it all listed on Etsy. And I really need to try and move some stuff. So, uh, this will definitely be in that sale if anybody wants it. So, stay tuned for that. I will put in my community feed the announcements about all of that. But at any rate, that's it. This is all for this one. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I will put the link for the washi tape shop down below. I will put the link for Butterfly Lane down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.